made some bit, big moves, big Bitcoin moves. Let's discuss this. I want to go to a 15 minute chart. Here we go. Boom. All right. We have a divergence short term. We should probably reverse right here. One, two, three. I had closed out a trade right here and went long at 6,800. And uh, here we are popping up a little bit. It's likely going to go all the way back up to this 74, at the very least, the 7150s. And there we go, we're getting some pumping right here. Woohoo! Uh, but anyway, that's just a short term view. Um, now, I want to talk about also the Cornex and, and asking Ivo. You know, people have brought to me about them uh, being having only the, the BitMEX account. Now, you know that. I trade both long and short, and I'm closing positions, and I'm, I'm slowly going all to the long side, but I still have hedges, you know, from my positions, and I, as we go down, I'll close them, and as we go up, I'll close and profit those, and I'll keep rolling positions. That's how I make money trading. Um, but um, it's important to have both accounts. Having just one side, the, the short account, the BitMEX, uh, is not enough. You gotta have both, and it doesn't matter if it's Binance that you're trading, you know, against or Coinbase Pro, um, you, both of them, uh, because of the fact that you know profitability from the trades are uh, each trade is a trade onto itself, and I tried to make this clear in the past. So that's an important thing. Beyond that, executions, you know, uh, uh, find out from them. You know, I can't tell you what to do with your money that I don't provide financial advice and it would be wrong for me to do that. I can tell you what I'm doing and my trading ideas uh, alone, um, you know, what I believe and you can use me as a guide and that's the way that I should be used um, correctly. Uh, but uh, this is a 15 minute chart. You see the divergences. This is what I'm looking for is that we go back up to here short term. And now let's go over and take a look at the bigger picture. Okay, I'm going to go to a daily chart here. And this is very important because we've gone under, we've gone under a very key spot that I've been waiting for for so long. You know, I believed, I believed that it came true. Hallelujah. But um, so we've gone under the 7200 area and this is important because this is the 61.8 percent level between the low that we had down in here around 3,000 to the high that we had up to here which is crazy 14 close to 14,000 and really most of all of this was just the Bitfinex whales and so forth pushing the market so far up getting everybody interested and captivated into the long side so they can go over and short it and then they get the push down and they create these exaggerations in the marketplace that are very hard to calculate because they're emotionally based on individuals that are not algorithmic or institutional volume like you would expect in the currency market which is easier because they have a mathematical basis of their trading these guys trade off their balls and fortunately and uh, they create some really bizarre ranges and, and numbers but nonetheless Outside of that being said, uh, where we are right now, we have gone into this under 61.8, and this all stretches all the way back from the day, all the way back from the, when you know I was a seller in the 18 to 20,000 range because I thought we we're going to go down to 6,000. The main reason was because of the patterns and the geometry and the volume. Everything was there for us to retrace down here, and we did. And now. Uh, we even went down to the about 80% of the range from uh, Bitcoin, the, the high up here, down to here. And then we retraced up to here, which was around close to 14,000. And now we've retraced to here based off of this lower low and lower high. Okay, very key, lower low, lower high, retraced 61.8%. Because this lower low, compared to this one over here, um, went over and set the stage, okay, 
for the long-term price movement. It needed to retrace to this level to come back into equilibrium. Listen to me very carefully. Equilibrium is exceptionally important. It's one of the things that most traders don't pay attention to um, because they don't have any real understanding of mathematics. And in supply and demand, you need to achieve equilibrium for longer term price movements um, unless it's very localized and there's a specific reason for it that to overcome that, which there's not in this case because it's a very big market, you know, lots of people in, involved in it. Uh, it. It has now come into equilibrium by retracing to this level that I've been waiting to for for so long to do. And now that it's done this, you have the option looking out longer term for this to occur, for this to be followed. Okay, let's go over and grab this if it will from here. And then we're going to tie it to the top over here. And then we're going to be looking for the big move to the 100,000 and above range. Maybe not the John McAfee numbers that he's looking for, but still. You know, you go from your 20,000 up to 100 or even 200,000 in the years to come. And the scarcity is going to take over at some point. Um, bigger money is going to come into this. They're going to say, hey, this is a, you know, a built-in profit. They're going to be looking and calculating the, how much profitability they can get off of this and the controllability. That's the other thing that's important to big money is how controlled can they make this. And they can make this pretty controlled since there's only 21 million coins. There's all kinds of um, interesting scenarios. And the bigger money is salivating over this uh, marketplace. Um, and uh, so I think we have a very interesting future in the years to come. Now the happening is coming uh, in the spring, you know, summertime, you're gonna see, start to see the effects of that going forward. And, you know, it, that doesn't mean prices are going to automatically go up or down or anything to that degree beforehand of it. But the scarcity value will come into play because it's going to be twice as difficult to create coins. And uh, there's a whole bunch of scenarios for that. But after a certain period of time going forward, uh, we could get the next parabolic move well above the, the highs uh, that we had the all-time high here and um, then follow a flight path from this point down here to here. This is going to become important. Now, there can be variable ones, uh, which you can get the John McAfee type of numbers and, and you know calculations, and there's nothing wrong with them. But um, uh, there's a few reason and volume I'm not going to go over because it's nuanced and it really doesn't matter, but any way that we we look at it and any way of the movement that we can follow. Uh, Bitcoin's future is very bright and I think people will, you know, uh, at some point launch onto the numbers and uh, when they do, you know, it's going to have that next parabolic rise. But for right now, everybody's in the doldrums and they're all like, oh my God, end of the world, which is fantastic. Um, I love it when they, they become heavy sellers and whatnot. And um, so I'm a long-term bull now that we've gone under 7,200 and I'm flipping over. Now also to be said, I don't do anything with the corn Xbox. You know, you have to talk to Ivo, Evo, I always say his name, Ivo, uh, Evo and the corn X guys because uh, I can't control anything that happens with the bot. I just trade what I trade. You know, and I'm also not a financial advisor, so I'm not going to tell you what to do with your money. Um, I'll tell you what I would do if I was uh, in your shoes, and I'll give you my opinion, you know, and so forth. But uh, I cannot advise you that way. That's just, it's wrong for me to do. Um, there are people that are wildly profitable with this, and there are some that are in the break-even range, which is I'm like, wow, that sucks. I, I thought I, but anyway. That's uh, neither here nor there because that's also timing when you you uh, got in and uh, whatnot. But overall, most people are very happy, and that's good. And most of the things that I, I've said have uh, you know taken place and they have occurred. So fantastic. Well, let's go back to this short-term chart and see where we are. 
pop back up. We are starting to pop back up. Okay. So good. One, two, three. Um, outside of that, uh, this is just a brief update. We could make lower lows here. It's not likely. I think the 6800 for a while it's maybe bounces back up to this uh, you know, 8100 and above numbers, and that would be fantastic. I got trades that would go off there as well. Um, but we'll just keep rolling. Exciting times. Like I said, trades are you're seeing them go off more and more because the profitability is going there. You know, they're, they're getting bounced, uh, you know, the up and down. Uh, if the volatility increases and continues like this, fantastic. Um, but it is important to have both the long and the short count. So you can trade both ways with me. Um, mostly right now I am a buyer. And I, like I said, if I was only had the BitMEX account, I would close out all those positions under that 7,000 and uh, you know just go flat and then rebalance between the two accounts. Um, that's what I would do. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. You see the big picture, the, you know, you see where I am. You know, everything's occurred. And we're back into equilibrium. Life is good. And I will now go get my horns and put them on my head because I'm a bull. <laughs> Other than that, have a great week, and I'll talk to you guys later.